After over 10 years, Ugandan motor mouth kickboxing champion and star Golola Moses decides to hang the glove. Well, I've been fighting for some time. I would have been celebrating maybe more than 10 years of fighting. But uh, I'm telling my fans that uh, I want to retire. Many are asking me, why are you retiring? I say, oh no, I got to retire. You know, because Gola Moses can live forever, but can't fight forever. According to him, Gola feels he has achieved all his dreams and it's time to create space for the youngsters. I think uh, it's the right time to hang up the gloves because, I mean, I thank God that I've got what I was praying for. I mean, I've got the fans, I've got, I'm a champion. I'm a champion, I've fought everybody. So, my dreams was to become a champion, to sit home and I build other champions. So the reason why I'm retiring, you know that I'm retiring to run out of the sport, not retire, I'm retiring to go and start doing agriculture, no. I'm just retiring to spare my energy. Because in Uganda, we, we believe that we have so many youth whom we have inspired. We have the gyms, but uh, we need somebody to come in to push them more. These guys, they have not yet understand that this sport is a business. So we want to talk with other promoters, other people. How do we make this sport into a business? Yes, me, I've achieved, I thank God, because I'm not bad love like any other person. Of course, in Africa, you might find that I'm the only one as Gola Moses of Uganda. I'm at home, this is my home, this is my ring. I mean, this is home gym. And uh, I always tell all guys that this is home of the champion. I always welcome them. The emphasis that he is retired from the ring and not the sport, Golola's plan is to search and groom other young fighters. There are so many times whereby I've called them here and I tell them, you guys, uh, for some of us we are retiring, but we want to see this sport going on. How are we going to take it on? I want to see somebody who's going to take people back in Freedom City. I want to see somebody. So, um, I want to retire. Secondly, uh, I think I need to be in the management of kickboxing because as a, we did a lot to promote kickboxing but uh, it, has, uh, it has reached somewhere whereby uh, it has uh, a coup. So I want to retire and uh, set up that coup because the young men they have to, I mean they have to fight. The fans are waiting. So I'm just hanging up the gloves, not that I'm tired and no longer fight, no. <laughs> and sometimes it needs, it needs to relax when you're still strong. When you still, when you still really good, I have fought, I have lost, I have won, I have money to hit everyone. So I want to see some of the young men who can go more than me. But having been the most famous in the sport, what is the future like for kickboxing without the man who can pocket while naked, Golola Moses of Uganda? I'm looking forward to bringing in young guys here and I train them professionally. I'm having different concepts to see how I'm going to develop kickboxing. We have, we have a concept of developing kickboxing from a local, from the village to the national level. That's why we even have this tournament called Onaweza. It's a talent search. As me, Golola, I'm retiring also to see that uh, the ambition of the Golola Talent Academy reach. Because one of our ambitions is to search for talent, is to promote talent. Golola will retire after a fight in Kampala with South Sudan's Majok, who won him a year back in Juba. We have a fight, 9th of December. But I'm bringing James Majok. Remember the fight we had in South Sudan? The time of COVID? Yes. But he this time round has a lot of optimism to win this fight. He's very last as he retires and has warned Majok to come to Kampala prepared. The man was strong. I didn't eat enough. The fight was Ziggy Zaga. But now, here in Uganda, never let them say it is never a joking subject. It is a fight. James Majok, I want to tell you, it was a swingy swing the other time. But when the ring ring bang bang, if you miss the right, if you miss the right, you won't miss the left. And remember, I'm not going to spend too much. That's why I have started it. I have started it in time. Besides his fights, Gola Moses will be missed for his comical side. My, my coach told me, hey Moses, Moses! When you're hitting the bar, when you're hitting it, be like, <laughs> he was like, be like you are enjoying sex. Be like, because when you're having sex, you can't go, <laughs> no. You just go like, 
you enjoy it. So, this is my coach told me I should enjoy the vibe. Kone meno ne wakura modesi ya tuuka dao. Kati ya ranyo kiaka yoguji, nyo ya mazi. Elati singa mawai kanyue mudi ya gana inga ninga susuri inga wuna susuri inga wuna susuri inga wuna. Nema nange tumira abachara wuna. Mbaga mengena kusima miti abachara wuna. Mujia tusimbe miti. Mwe mja gana mkulilo kusime vinya. Abasaja tuvele nga tusima kusime. Tusime kusime. Personally, what will you miss about Gorilla Moses? I am afraid to see a man who can pocket all naked like me. The man who is not a joking subject. Whose boys are not them they are joking subject. They want to be dingy dingy dolly dangadangadang. 